Okay, so we are at step five, which is setting up your maintenance, and maintaining your AED is the most important part of owning an AED. If you've made the initial investment of having an AED program, the worst scenario would be when you go to use it that it doesn't work for you. The key things that you're looking for, most of them have an indicator that lets you know that the AED is, is good to go, um, and the other key things is that the AED is still there, uh, that it has the electrodes and the batteries and that none of that has expired. Um, so knowing when they're going to expire and being able to purchase the replacements ahead of time so that you have them, so that you're not ever without an AED. Most AEDs uh, recommend that you have two sets of adult electrodes with them so that if, God forbid, you do need to use it, you have a second set ready to go and the AED is ready to be used again immediately after a rescue so that you're never without. Uh, and some do recommend that you have a spare battery as well. Uh, part of the maintenance is not only checking on the AED, but ensuring that the internal software has been upgraded. As um, many of the AEDs have the built-in CPR prompts, the metronome that talks you through CPR, as the CPR guidelines have changed over the years, the internal software needs to be upgraded to ensure that it's in alignment with those um, with those requirements. So you want to check and make sure that that's being done as the uh, changes are made. Uh, you also want to inspect the Rescue Ready Kit uh, on a monthly basis. Most AEDs come with a Rescue Ready Kit, which is a small zippered pouch that Mary will show you. Uh, it comes with um, a mask with a one-way valve, scissor, shavers, gloves, all the simple little things that you would need. This mask can get sticky over time and really yucky. So that needs to be checked regularly as well, and that's part of the maintenance. Um, when we do our CPR classes, we provide a free keychain that has a personal mask in it that can be given out to each person who's taking the class. Um, so you want to inspect the AED, you want to inspect the Rescue Ready Kit, you want to inspect your cabinet. Um, I mentioned earlier, you open the door, the alarm goes off. The alarm typically is run by a 9-volt battery. Similar to your fire extinguishers in your home, the battery could easily die. So you want to check on that, make sure that's working. You want to inspect your signage around the building. Um, sometimes with just over time, there's deterioration of the signs, or unfortunately, sometimes there's vandalism. So you want to uh, be aware of that and be checking on that. And, um, and then if uh, performing the drills is part of the maintenance as well, um, you know, setting up to do a drill periodically, and having documentation that you're doing all of this maintenance is really going to be helpful for you. Uh, most of the manufacturers have lovely indemnification policies that will indemnify the user and the town. Uh, but so you want to have documentation that you're, that you're following their recommended guidelines. Each of them has very specific guidelines as to what they recommend you should be doing regularly to maintain your AED. So again, part of the program is knowing that that's being done. It doesn't have to be done by you, but it needs to be done by somebody and there should be documentation that it's being done. There also are services that are available where you can have a completely hands-off approach and hire out and have somebody else take care of your AED for you fully so that you don't have to worry about it and you can have the utmost confidence that it is going to be in rescue-ready condition when you go to use it.